Hi friends, my name is Gautam and in this tutorial we will be discussing about how to uh, send messages that is across two browser windows that is let me show you what I mean let me show you the project where what we have developed right now so in previous tutorials we have successfully developed this so we need some mechanism in order to send messages back and forth between two browser windows or two computers so in this tutorial I will be developing this mechanism so let me type a username and a message so click on the send button and the message will be printed on the screen so this mechanism we will be building in this tutorial so for that we need some code on the client side and all the and also on the server side so first of all I will be writing code on the client side that is chat.js file so first of all I will like to manipulate the DOM that is document object model for that I will be needing the IDs that is for various elements that is output feedback handle message and send so first of all I should be creating some variables that is message document get element by ID and write the ID name and let me copy this four more times and change the value to handle button this is id has send this is output this is also output and lastly we have feedback feedback so we have grabbed all the ids into respective variables message handle button output and feedback so next thing we have to bind a event listener to the send button so as soon as i click on the send button a message will be sent to the server side so for binding the event listener we have a method of add event listener and just provide the event that is click and corresponding function will run so in this function I will just emit the message to the server this is the event name click and the data will be in two curly brackets this is JSON notation that is JavaScript object notation key value pairs so first key is the message and it will be holding the value message dot value comma handle handle dot value so we have uh, successfully binded a event listener that is click and it will be simply be uh, sending the message to the server side so just save this and go to the index.js file so in order to receive this event we will simply write socket dot on the same chat event which which we have initialized sorry this is chat so we have to name a event so this can be any name depending upon your choice but I am naming chat according to my application so this is event name and this is the data that we are passing to the server side so in order to receive this event we are just writing the event name followed by the function callback function which will be executed whenever this which this event happens and this function contains the data that we are sending and we just have to emit this data to all the clients that are connected to this server so we will just write chat comma data so this is very simple lo logic that is if anyone send data to, the, to this server so just wait for this event to happen so if this event happens then run this callback function which contains the data that we are sending and the server will simply emit this event to all the clients that are connected to our server 
with the following data that we are sending that is message and the handle value so in order to receive this data that we are sending from the server side we need some mechanism on the client side also that is chat.js in order to manipulate the dom because we at the end of the day we need to see the actual ma message on the screen so in order to do that we just have to write another event that is socket on the same event that is chat and it will contain function data the same data that we are sending and we just need to print this data onto the screen so what we can do here we can be manipulating the output that this is the id we can manipulate it by manipulating the inner html property and we can write some html here p strong just concatenating with the data value data dot handle so handle property we have sent so it is retrieved through this data dot handle plus we need to close the strong tag plus data root message and again plus we need to close the paragraph tag so this completes our code on both the server side and the client side so let me save this and execute the application for you so just open two separate windows and just refresh it so let me type a username and a corresponding message Gotham and a message is hello my name is Gotham and click the send button a mirror so I have not put a plus sign because I need to append the the data because the previous data should remain so I should have put the plus sign so this was the error that was coming so let me refresh it once more and uh, type bottom hello so as you can see here my message is printing on both of the windows my window as well and other window as well so let me hello Sanjay so as you can see here it is working right now so I can type any message right now send 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 so this can be two browser windows this can be two computers across the world too. so we have successfully created our chat application so one feature is missing from this that is if I type the message at the same time I want a separate message should be visible to all the client inside the chat window that is Gotham is typing a message so that functionality I want in my, in my chat application so that I will make in the next tutorial thank you guys for watching this tutorial so I will see you in the next tutorial thank you very much